Hello world! My name is Shani and I, today, am going to perm my hair. I've done it before, it was a bit of a flop, but I thought I'd give it a go. I'm going to do a spiral perm and I want it quite tight, so my hair might go a bit shorter. But anyway, uh, this is my hair right now, a bit of a mess, but I've just washed it. So first, what you want to do is jump in the shower, give your hair a rinse, um, and a light shampoo, you don't want to create too much friction. And then you want to leave your hair a bit damp and also have a spray bottle handy because you want your hair damp when you apply the perming rods. So let's get started. Okay. So what you are going to need are your perming rods and I've got a bunch of different sizes so I'm going to have to change them up. Um, you want your water spray. Um, these are perm paper. And then this is the Quantum, I'm using Quantum Extra Body, and this is actually salon quality. Um, so I'm hoping it turns out really good, and in there, there's your, you know, solutions and neutralizers. Then you just want a few clips and brushes and combs to get started. Okay, so now we section our hair into four different sections. This is called the Hot Cross Bun Method. And we're gonna start by putting the perming rods from the bottom upwards. So let's do this. Okay, so now we are gonna section this section by grabbing a little bit of hair from the bottom and sectioning like that. And we're gonna clip the rest up. These are really handy, guys. Just do a little bit of a twirl and clip. We're gonna get our spray bottle because my hair's already, oh, yay, getting soaked. And you want the hair pretty wet. Like that. And then you want to grab one of your perming rods. I'm going to do the blue size for the lower bits so they hang a bit lower so they're not so tight up there. Okay, so we're going to grab our perming paper and apply it like this. And you want to fold it. I do it long ways so you can get the more amount of hair in there. And you bring it down. So you want to make sure that this part of the perming rod will be up like that because it's just much easier that way. So we're going to grab the perming rod, put it on like this and you can choose which way you want your curls to go but I don't really care so I'm just going to apply. And we're going to twist around and make sure all the hair is nice and tucked in. And you want to go over the same bit a few times so it stays and then you're going to slowly roll upwards. Nice and tight, you want to keep it firm like so. Okay, so you want to make sure that the pointy part of the perming rod is at the top of your head to make it easier to attach the perming rod. And then you just go like this. And then voila, nice and tight. And we're going to keep on doing that and I'll see you guys soon. Guys, that took hours, and I mean hours, probably two and a half, three hours. <laughs> Gosh. And I nearly ran out of um, rods, and so I've got some fat ears ones in there and some thin ones, so you know, no one really knows how it's going to turn out. Anyway, so next we are going to put the waving lotion in with the activator. We are going to saturate each rod evenly with the waving lotion. Don't get them mixed up like I nearly did. Okay guys, so now we're going to grab the plastic that came with it and place it over the head like this for 20 minutes. Oh, it's been 20 minutes of this cool hairdo and now I'm going to rinse. Five minutes starting now. Make sure you put your timer on. Okay, so now we are gonna dry these bad boys with a towel. I can't show you because, you know. <laughs> so now we're gonna saturate our hair with this neutralizer and then leave in for five minutes. The time has come to remove these bad boys, a few of them. So there's definitely curls and 
and um, I'm dripping still. So I am going to put the rest of the neutralizer in and scrunch it together, then wait one more minute, then we're gonna go rinse for three minutes. So make sure you put the timer on. Okay, so now we're gonna rinse it out, and guys, remember, if in doubt, there are instructions, because I don't actually know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, so there's definitely curls, and I am dripping, so pretty much from here, we are gonna scrunch dry, and I really wanna go to bed, and it's like, what's the time? It's nearly midnight, and I started at seven. Woo, <laughs> it's like four or five hours. Anyway, so next you're gonna scrunch dry, and then wait for it to dry, or you can blow dry it if you have a diffuser. Yeah, so this is my husband's dressing gown. And uh, I thought I'd wear a head cap. I've heard that they're good for curls, um, although now I'm thinking it might ruin my curls. So we'll find out tomorrow I might have messed up my perm, but YOLO. You wanna say, you wanna say hello, Micah? Hello. <laughs> okay, I have not taken this off yet, so here goes. products that create a lot of volume and that separate the curls a lot more um, yeah but I actually love it so super stoked on that so something you should really think about before getting your perm is that you have enough perming rods you really want to use little sections on your hair and in the past I have done perms on myself and my sisters and they didn't work so well because I put too much hair on the perming rods so you just want to take your time. It literally took me three, four hours to insert the perming rods, but it's worth it because you get tighter curls. Anyway, I'm gonna go online and buy some products. So make sure you click like and subscribe and I will have more videos about maintaining a perm later. See you. <laughs> <laughs>